Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here with SCP-705, also known as Militaristic Play-Doh. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if not, well, that's your decision. Item number, SCP-705, Object Class Safe. Special Criterion Procedures SCP-705 requires little security detail nor significant clearance to access. It is to be held in Sector 2 safe SCP containment with the lid closed. Any access is to be logged when entering and exiting, and exiting SCP-705's containment to review it once a month. Misplacement or lack of attendance leading to containment failure is punishable by temporary removal of access. Repeat offenses incur a more severe probations. SCP-705 is not to be used in any practical applications. Description SCP-705 is normally contained within a 5-ounce container of a children's modeling compound commonly known as Play-Doh. When properly sealed, SCP-705 exhibits no unusual qualities or anomalous behavior. SCP-705 was originally discovered within the Blank Corporation's research labs in Blank as part of an attempt to create a self-modeling product. That mean, the means by which this was accomplished is still unknown, but the results led to the abandonment of the line and the labs themselves. <sighs> Retrieved on an unknown date, SCP-705 was originally moved to Site Blank, then relocated a month later to its current location at Site-17. When the, lead for, when the lid for the container holding SCP-705 is open, the soft red material inside will begin to animate. Shapes resembling so small humanoid forms will emerge from the clay, slowly at first but soon numbering in the ends to hundreds. The material comprising the mineral sculpted and come into detail, appearing as miniature infantrymen in typical military fatigues, equipped with fully functional automatic weaponry. At this point, SCP-705 comprises approximately 200 to 100 individual sentient organisms. When active, SCP-705 is incredibly violent and militaristic. Hmm. Possessing a highly territorial mindset and will do in everything in its power to overtake what perceives to be a strategic location. Within an observed environment, this will we are perceived as a lab workstation, a break room coffee machine, or a bathroom sink. Due to the weak composition of each SCP-705 organism, none of these threats can be considered significant. It can be diffused with an, any application of force. Unconstrained, SCP-705 is no more than a minor annoyance, although not but for lack of trying. SCP-705 has been observed to be capable of sentient thought, and audio records have revealed that they possess understanding of the, Engli of the English language. Over time, the group that comprises SCP-705 will become more complex, with obvious leadership of girls emerging. On several occasions, an extended test of SCP-705 has shown the formation of larger, more complex structures formed from a collective mass, such as tanks, APCs, and even aircraft, such as hel helicopters and bombers. It's to be noted that none of these creations are any more effective due to or the use of harmless clay ammunition. If SCP-705 comes in, in contact with a similar compound, such as a normal container of Play-Doh, the contacted <sighs> and material will take on the same qualities as active SCP-705. When of the same color, no differences in behavior are noted, although larger and more complex objects will be observed. If the affected substance is of a different color, however, an entirely new army is created. If left undisturbed, the original SCP-705 organisms and a new opposing army will gain to combat. Multiple colors can be activated in this manner and alliances will form between in the aggressing parties. Said materials remain active until SCP-705 is once again contained. SCP-705 is fully capable of sustaining casualties amongst themselves in these conflicts, although such losses are mitigated by its amorphous its nature. Addendum 705D The first known attack by a SCP-705 occurred on an unknown date when the container had been left attended 
on a counter within the break room. In less than an hour, SCP-705 had taken control of the Mr. Coffee Machine, declaring independence and control over the region. The assault was routed when Dr. Wright's rushed him away from the burner, resulting in massive casualties and a complete rout. It reads with SCP-705 remark on this day with great fear and resentment. <sighs> Addendum 705F After getting approval from 056, 705 was introduced to SCP-963. I mean, the, I'm guessing you mean the person that holds SCP-963. <sighs> At which point, 705 sought out the current holder of 963, but Cosmos made the soldiers was making F705 salute Dr. Bright and stood at ease awaiting orders. Dag, sponge. So let's save this for what and we really need it. And that was SCP-705. It just seems like a little fun toy, honestly. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy the video, then you only wasted six and a half minutes listening to me talk about, about Play-Doh that comes alive and, and does little or, or battles or tries to take over specific points. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!